What I'm going to be doing right now, I'm going to jump into my calibration file, I'm going to shut up my vehicle, I'm going to go in and just exaggerate this and just show you what these tables do. So I'm going to go into my startup airflow initial table, I'm going to go in at my hotter temperatures here, I'm just going to go and add a bunch of value. I'm going to double this, I'm going to set it to a value of 8. And then I'm going to go into my delay, I'm going to go and change this to a value of 15. I'm going to go and effectively add uh, about another second of cam and camshaft rev, add about another second here to my value. So it's going to hold this higher initial value and it's going to hold it for another second longer. So I'm going to set this to 15. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flash my ECU right now and then we're going to be getting back into the scanner and then seeing exactly what this does. Okay, so that flash, let's jump into our scanner here. Let's get back online with the ECU. So again, the engine's not running. We're just going to be uh, key on engine off. And we're going to be seeing what that reports here. Okay, so now that we're back online here, we can see our idle startup airflow is at 22 pound per hour. And that's going to be increased from where it was before. And because we've raised that initial startup table, and we've also going to see that this is going to hang longer here at this value because we've increased that delay. So let's go ahead right now and fire up our engine and then keep an eye on the startup airflow. We'll be seeing that our engine RPM actually flared up a bit and then came down, and that's because we've had more startup airflow. And it was just slightly, if we go ahead and stop it right here, and we play back through the data log, we can see that it flared up to right around 744, where before it went up to right around 600 and settled out actually went up and then came down. So it had that effect of providing a, uh, a flaring effect um, with the startup airflow. So on a big cam car, that's going to be something that you might 